These are Danson's two models, BBE4A and BBE4B at the back of the picture. In the front are the two sensor specimens and uh, to the left and right are his closure plates. Dancer is putting the silicon sealant round one of the closure plates. Dancer is going to put the model on one of the closure plates. Danson is going to put the model on the one closure plate on top of the other one. This is BBE 4A sealed with its two closure plates. It's got to remain like this for an hour before we test it. All right, Danston is going to put model BBE 4A into the test tank. All right, Joe. Joe is going to pick the tank top up and put it on top. Of the tank. So James and Joe are now going to put screw the tank top down. All the bolts. James are now tightening down the bolts with the Allen keys. So that's the bleed hole there. We've got to get the trap out of the tank. And James is going to uh, um, watch out for the water to come out. Put his finger over the bleed hole, which he removed shortly to, to hear the hiss of air coming out. Danson's pumping the air out of the bleed hole. Danson's going to pump. Well, he's done it. That's it. It's fine. Now James is now going to seal the bleed hole. Danson is now going to raise the pressure and destroy the model. A bit slower, Johnson. Hang on. Johnson is going to put his hand into the crystal clear distal water and pull the model out to see how it collapsed. There it is there. If you just bring it closer to me, Johnson, and turn it around so I can see right around it. the back end. It was pretty crushed a bit. Well done Nansen. This is the class model BBE 4A. Right, Joe is now going to dismantle the bottle by twisting it hard. That's it, he's done it. Well done, Joe. Well done, Joe. This is because the model, the ceiling dries on the outside, but it's still soft on the inside, so dismantling is not a problem. This is model BBE4B, sealed and ready to be tested in about an hour's time when the ceiling dries. This is model BBE4B, and Danson's going to put it in the tank.
Joe's getting ready to pump the remaining air out there. Go on, Joe, pump it out. I said, Joe, yeah, well, Danton's going to put the uh, bleed screw on. We're ready to test, and Joe is going to start pressurizing it. Five, ten, three, five, fifteen, sixty, six, five, seven, five, eighteen. It's seven, gone. And it collapsed at 80 psi. And the pressure fell down to what, Joe? What did the pressure fall down to on the gauge? Just above 25. Danson will now retrieve the model, the collapsed model from within the tank, and bring that here close, Danson. Turn it around gently so we can see the collapse. Interesting. Keep going. Uh, we've got loads almost right the way around. Keep going. This is the collapsed form of model BBE 4A. Joe will now dismantle the model by turning it round like that. Well done Joe, that's great. He's got the knack of it. I'm going to pull that bit out of there. Well done Joe, it's coming out. Well done Joe, that's great.